The Upload Group lets you upload your website to your hosting or to trial host your site on iHost Studio. Upload website will open Web Studio's FTP uploader, which behaves like many FTP utilities. On the left, you'll see all the pages you've created for your website. You can either choose a page you'd like to upload or upload them all. Web Studio can also determine which files have been changed since the last update and only upload those files. The connection dialog box is where you'll enter the FTP information from your hosting company. You can also specify active or passive FTP modes. Once connected, the right side of the window will have your remote site folder, which is the folder on the server where your website files will live when they're online. The commands on the right side let you manipulate those files on the remote server. When you're done uploading, you can either type your URL to view your site live, or click Done to exit the uploader. Trial hosting enables you to put your site on the web even if you haven't purchased hosting yet. It also lets you show other people the progress of your site without having to upload your current live site. And it'll help our tech support people diagnose problems with your site. Fill out the required form and your site will automatically upload to our partner iHost Studio. Once your trial host site is uploaded, you get a temporary URL, which you can send to friends, clients, tech support, the Web Studio forum, or whomever. The site will expire after 24 hours and will no longer be available on the internet. In the Upload Website button, you'll notice two commands, Web Studio 4.0 Uploading or 5.0 Uploading. If you already have a site online and you're now updating the site with 5.0, we suggest using 4.0 Uploading. If you're making a new site entirely within Web Studio 5.0, then use 5.0 Uploading. Web Studio 5.0 has an updated way of handling URLs to the pages within a website. The reason we suggest using 4.0 for existing sites is that you might already have people who have bookmarked their favorite page inside your site or have embedded those links on their sites. If you use 5.0 uploading, those links will become broken. Also, note that someone's bookmark for your homepage will not become broken, only those to other pages. If you don't have too many visitors, or if this is a new site, 5.0 uploading will be the way to go, since there are many new features.